and thanks for watching. In this video, I will be showing you how to model complex partnership structures, including double promotes, in the Acre Apartment Development Model. Now let's get right to it. Uh, here is a hypothetical structure, uh, one that's not uh, uncommon in an industry, where you have a developer uh, who, uh, at the early stages of the development, uh, sourcing land, uh, acquiring the entitlements, uh, working through the drawings, etc., seek out friends and family uh, or other co-GP capital to help get the, the project to a point where the developer can then raise uh, larger capital from a limited partner, often uh, an institution. And so in this hypothetical structure, we have the developer, who puts 10% of, let's call it the GP uh, share, with friends and family coming up with the other 90%. And the developer strikes a deal with uh, her friends or family, uh, where the developer comes up with, like I said, 10% to 90%, and in exchange for that, the developer offers a 12% preferred return, shared pro rata based on uh, equity invested by each par party, and then above a 12% return, the split is 50-50. And so that structure is in place until such point where maybe drawings are, are in place, entitlements are in place, and that GP partnership needs to seek a larger limited partner. And so they go to market and they strike a deal with a limited partner, uh, maybe it's uh, a pension fund, and the GP agrees to contribute 10% of the total a required equity, and the LP uh, contributes 90%. And in exchange for that structure, uh, the LP uh, requests a preferred return of 8% uh, share, or and all cash flow to that 8% is split pro rata based on equity contributed. And then from an 8% to a 12% to IRR, the limited partner uh, promotes the GP an additional 10% such that we get a 20-80 split. And then from a 12 to a 15, there's a 30-70 split. And then above a 15, there's a 40-60 split. And so that's our hypothetical uh, complex partnership structure. Let me show you how to model that here in our apartment development model. So I start out on the versions tab. You can see for this video, I am using version beta 0 0.43. Uh, I move to the underwriting tab. And then here along the top in my navigation ribbon, I'll just click the returns, and that will take me to the returns section. Uh, specifically, the partnership level cash flows is what we're looking at. So by default, the single promote option is toggled on. And, and so this is just a basic structure where you have a GP and a limited partner. But we can quickly turn on a double promote simply by clicking the double promote toggle. And that toggles on now a second waterfall between our GP1 and our GP2. And so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna label the partner share, and that just helps us understand who's who. And so we'll start with this, and we'll just call this the developer plus friends family. And our, limited, our LP we'll just call limited partner, creative I know. And then down here in our second waterfall, we have the developer, and we have friends, family, okay? Now it's important to include the passive party as the GP2, because it's this G GP2 that will be promoting GP1 in the second waterfall. So we've, we've entered the uh, parties to this particular structure. Next, we're going to enter the contributions required uh, under each waterfall. And in both cases, it's a 10% by the developer friends family, our GP, and 90% LP in the first waterfall. And then in our GP waterfall, it's 10% by the developer, 90% friends and family. So finally, we move to the promote structure. And here, if you recall, uh, the GP is offering a 10% pref pro rata, meaning 10% uh, to the GP, 90% to the LP, up to that 8% return. And then from eight to a 12, 20, 80. From 12 to a 15, 30, 70. And then above a 15, above 15, we get a 40, 60 split. 
And with that, we have the, the LP has promoted the developer friends family, the, the GP, such that th these are the distributions or roughly 14% of total distributions are distributed to the GP. Now that line of distributions together with the line of contributions from the GP flow into our second waterfall. And here, as I mentioned, there's a preferred return of 12% distributed pro rata. And then above a 12%, it will be split 50-50. And so you ask, well, I've got second, third, and fourth tier. What do I do? Well, it's just a, sim a, a matter of, it asks, okay, in the second tier, uh, what, shall the, what shall the distribution be up to some hurdle? Well, all we need to do is set that hurdle to some level that's unattainable. So in this case, 99%. Then we're going to set this 50%. And what that what happens now is in the second tier up to a 99% uh, IRR, which is unattainable in this case, uh, there'll be a 50-50 split. The third tier, we're just going to do the same thing, 99% to a 50-50. And then everything above a 99%, 50-50. And now we have modeled out our second waterfall. Uh, such that, in this case, of the 14% total uh, distributed uh, from here, 10% of that goes to the friends and family partnership, and 3% goes to the developer. Now, if we want to see the results of that, you can see that here, this is the IRR of the developer versus the IRR of the friends and family. Here's the equity multiple of those two uh, parties. We can see that also summarize on the summary tab. So we moved he move here and you have partnership returns, limited partner, developer, friends, family, the three parties. And you see an IRR for each, equity multiple for each, and then a return on invested capital for each. We also have a graph for this. So you come down, you'll see equity IRR by partner and then an equity multiple by partner. Uh, visualized in a column graph. And with that, we have modeled uh, a complex partnership structure in the Acre Apartment Development Model. Uh, feel free to reach out if you spot any uh, errors. Um, as I mentioned, we're still in beta at this point. And the complex partnership structure, the double promote, hasn't uh, maybe hasn't been stress tested as much as some of the other modules. So if you spot something, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, thanks for your time.